What's up? I'm here to give a tutorial on how to do the Advanced Bunker 2-1 Strat. We're just going to play this in real time so you get a good demo of it. Yeah, it's really fast. There's a lot of bullet deflects, so you're going to want to practice just deflecting bullets normally before you try the strat. So let's just uh, break everything down on what just happened. So at the very beginning, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to roll into the statue up here. We're going to save that statue for later. Uh, we're going to pick it up as we roll to it. And first step is really simple. After you grab the statue, you just roll down and then kill the gunman. But as soon as you kill the gunman and you're a bit closer to the flat ground, do a diagonal slash upward in this direction. And that will deflect the first bullet from the gunman killing the Ricky. So I'm going to do that frame by frame again. So kill this guy. Diagonal slash upwards. Deflect the bullet. And yep, the Ricky is dead. Now, the second part here is you're going to want to just allow yourself to drift to the right. Bringing yourself closer to the gunman. The reason why you do that is because it gives you a consistent timing on when to deflect the gunman's second bullet. So if you know the timing that a gunman takes to just fire his gun as soon as he sees you, you're able to use that as your, to your advantage and just slash to deflect him when you're up close at him point blank range. So as soon as he fires, just tap the slash button. So I'm going to drift to the right here and then I deflect. That was real quick, even though I play that in slow motion, but I'm just going to do it frame by frame. Drift, 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 drift. And then he fires and I slash and he'll be dead. But notice I'm slashing the opposite direction and downwards. And I'm going to want to slash downwards so I can just fall through this floor, this platform right here. And then when that happens, I will be falling down, but I'm going to buffer a roll for the whole entire strat. For the whole entire room at this point, I will not let go of the roll button, which I have mapped to right trigger. As you can see, my controller will flash white on the right trigger. So yeah, do not let go of roll for the whole entire room at this point. Now, I'm going to be landing and I'm going to have a roll that I had buffered already. And then I'm just going to deflect this guy right here as I get to the end of my roll, and pr which would pretty much be right here. So yeah, I'm just going to play that real time. Yeah, it's, it's real quick. But I'm doing my best to break everything down. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Just deflect as soon as you get at this little line right here. Now, just like out the way we exit this floor, after we deflect, we want to hold down as well. So yeah, notice I slash upwards to give me height, and then I can do a fastball right here. So usually when you deflect, you want to slash diagonally upwards, so you can fall down much quicker. Well, you can fast fall quicker if you just tap down real quick. All right, so this part's pretty tricky because I'm going to kill both the shield guy right here with my slash, but deflect the bullet from the gunman right here. So by the time I drop down, the gunman's going to gonna shoot, but I would already be slashing this guy, the bullet deflecting, hitting him. So I'm just going to play that in real time. Yeah. It's real fast. I don't know if I've said that already. 
So what's going to happen here is I have my roll buffered, I go down, and I use the the graffiti, the cyan, the cyan square graffiti text right here as a visual cue. It's a good indication of how I could just go down there and slash. So you want to be inside the shield guy that's kind of your first thought but to me how I would word it is I'm inside of the shield but at the edge of when or where the the guy himself is visible so I'm inside the shield but I'm just like at the edge of the shield guy himself like his body his foot or his leg and this is when I would hit the slash button as you can see my controller display I hit the X button and the slash will come out so I know at this position at this frame I would just slash and kill the guy and deflect a bullet obviously you may not be able to see yourself inside the shield guy that clearly because it's going so fast for the human eye but you at least want to make sure you're by the time you slash you'd be inside the shield but not too inside the shield guy himself so I slash here and that will deflect the bullet and foot kill this guy first again I slash diagonally upward so I can easily set myself up for a fast fall and obviously you don't want to be too early you don't want to slash too early because you will just hit the shield and bounce off and remember that statue that we grabbed earlier we're gonna toss it and throw it at this guy below so th there's nothing complicated about it. just drop down as usual buffer the roll then toss the item and then he's dead goodbye statue and you're gonna drop down kill the Ricky and then deflect the gunman as soon as you kind of land at the at the flat ground you're gonna want to come a little bit close in the middle of the shutter doors before you deflect. So you want to get in the middle of the shutter doors right here to deflect them. And again, slash up, go down. Now you're going to buffer the roll here, kill the guy right here, the deflect. Same thing as the second floor. You just do that. Now for here, I like to slash two times to kill to kill these guys. So as soon as I drop down, kill the gunman and kill the Ricky. Sometimes you might have to just roll past the Ricky and slash him a bit. But optimally you're gonna wanna slash him slash him both as you go down. So I'm holding roll. I'm still holding roll and I'm going to grab the cleaver like underneath this Ricky. And as soon as I am vertically directly above this gunman right here, I'm just going to slash down. Simple as that. And as soon as I kill him and I'm at the proper opening in front of this shotgun guy, I'm just going to throw the cleaver. Yep. And that's that's that. That's pretty much how you do Bunker 2-1. The advanced way. I'm just going to play all that all over again. I'm just going to do it in slow motion so you get the gist of it. Hopefully this reinforces everything I said in this video. Yep, 
that's that's bunker two one slowed down it's really fast and you would have to know how to do full duplex on your own it takes a lot of practice but don't give up the practice definitely pays off and it saves saves quite some time saves like three seconds about compared to like the usual safe way to do bunker 2-1 probably saves less probably saves more but to me it feels like you save like three seconds but that that's about it thank you for watching